Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another Alpine Gremlins video. Today, we're bringing you the definitive guide on how to sharpen and care for your ice screws. First, you're gonna wanna prepare what you need, which is a file. I found this one on the floor somewhere, so it was free, and about $600 worth of ice screws. So first, you're gonna wanna see which screws need to be sharpened and which are okay. And to do that, I twist the screw into my thumb and feel the pointiness of the teeth, looking for like little sharp, needly boys. And then I rub my thumb right along the edge of the, the cutting tooth. And depending on how much it bites is how sharp it is. So I'll just check all of them real quick and we'll see which ones need to be sharpened. All right, so uh, we finished checking them all and you may be wondering why a lot of my screws still look like they have a factory tooth on them. And that's because I don't go blasting them into rocks all the time. You know, like if I don't think the ice is thick enough, I just don't put a screw there. Alrighty, so now we can get down to business. Got two screws here. Uh, one, the teeth are just a little bit dull and one, the teeth are just completely obliterated. So you can see on this back tooth, the relief cut is at a different angle from it being ground against a rock and sharpened incorrectly. So first, I'm gonna start by correcting the shape of the teeth before I try to sharpen them. For any tooth that needs its shape adjusted, like this one, I brace the screw against my knee and guide the file with my thumb. Each stroke should be at the exact same angle. And you'll see the fresh metal being ground away and it'll show you if your strokes are in the right place. See, so yeah, I'll just keep going through and reshaping any of the teeth that I don't like. So the next part is kind of tricky. You have to sharpen the, the part of the screw that actually cuts the ice. And it's down here in this little notch. You have to make sure not to nick the upper spine of the tooth as it won't place as smoothly. So to effectively sharpen the cutting edge, it takes long, light, and accurate strokes making sure that it's at the same angle as the relief cut. It doesn't take much. That one's good. That one's good. So last but not least, once the teeth are sharp, it's good to go over the threads and make sure there are no nicks or gashes that will prevent it from placing smoothly. It's a lot more common in aluminum screws because the barrels are made out of such a soft metal. And to prevent this, I like to put them in a screw case when they're in my backpack because there's so many things that can screw it up. So in conclusification, the best way to have ice screws that are sharp is to not do anything with them that is gonna make them dull. Like blasting them into rocks, dropping them, storing them in your backpack without a case, stuff like that. And also proper ice screw maintenance because nothing dulls an ice screw like rust or improper storage. So after you get back from a wet day out, it's important to take out especially your steel screws, but even your aluminum screws too, and dry them and store them properly. If you found this helpful, it would be great to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned because next week we're going to be talking about how to place an ice screw really, really super fast, and spoiler alert, it starts with a nice sharpening.